And we're back in the game with some more The Elder Scrolls Total War, playing as the Kingdom of Daggerfall. We're fairly well on the way to winning this campaign. Uh, we're going to pick up about eight rebel settlements, and that should actually give us victory. Uh, just before recording this, I won the Byzantine campaign for Medieval 2, which has been ongoing for a very long time. And if you have been watching that, you'll know how long it's been ongoing. A long time. Alright. So, what are we doing out here? We've landed an army out here. It does have siege equipment. Which means we could go directly in for an attack. To war. Which I think we need to do. They may not come in. Some of them are coming in. Shrike. What a cool name. He's a general. He's got some desert cav. Alright. We do have more Knights of the Horn. Somehow they're able to recruit more knightly units than I am. Okay. Let's go in for the, a battle. We might be able to claim the settlement and then defeat their reinforcements depending how quickly they come in. Or how slowly. Uh, we can deploy on the flanks of their settlement. I'm going to have you directly there, although that little uh, tree might be in the way. Alright. Crossbow units. That's an archer unit. We'll see where their reinforcements come in from. Alright, way, way back there. See about knocking down their walls. How quickly we can do that. I mean, we could just wait for their reinforcements. If they get here in time, they may sally out. We don't have a spy in there, it's unfortunate. Right. Are we causing any damage? Pit there. Doesn't look like we are causing much damage. Alright. Can we come and shoot these Nomad Cav? Alright, we have hit the gate, finally. Alright, we'll just speed this up, I think. I can see that their reinforcements have reached the edge of their settlement, but it doesn't appear they're coming into the settlement. It looks like they're going around in that direction. There's a cavalry unit I can see moving around. Or has it come into the settlement? It has. Right. That one. I mean, we've got two cavalry units of our own. There's no real need to go around there, though. They are using up a lot of ammunition. It's down 48%. We should be able to get it. 52, 64. Are we causing any damage? Don't appear to be shooting anybody. I think they may have had 76. Maybe 77 men start. Alright, we will have to intercept their cavalry. Alright, do we have any spearmen? 
Oddly enough, we don't have any spearmen. Normally, we have a lot of spearmen. All right, so the other troops are coming into the settlement. Can you reach them? I bet you could. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, we're still not killing many of them. All right, those are coming out. I'm going to direct my fire up there. Sure, if we can reach them. Do we catch up to their cav? The enemy general sees like the coward he is. Kind of. Press on and break the spirit of his army. By St. George, we've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn All to right. and run. Stop where you're at. Stop where you're at. You can actually do some chanting. Alright. They haven't actually given up. Now they have. What you firing up there? You just hold your barns. A good shot in on them. Right, the gate actually open. It would appear so. Right, let's get that infantry up there. Hold open the gates. Okay, the gates are now shut again. And if I break them down. You actually firing? Who's that that's moving up? I suppose. Ninety six percent. It'll be down soon. Alright, take on their archer militia. Oh, come on, that was definitely a hit on the gate. Uh, I'm sure it went straight through the middle of the gate. Come on. George, we've breached the enemy's walls. Yes, we have. Now we can start firing into the settlement. You, head on in. Fire over there. Get that infantry in. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. All right, go back onto regular Our speed. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I think if we can get our missile troops onto the walls, they'll be within range of most of their troops up to the town center. So that would be good. If we can get our general up through there. You. Come on up here. Uh, 
Right, they do have units all the way back here. Where's their cavalry? That's the horn. It's down to 32 men. We've routed that unit. Now routing their units. Push forwards. Now taking uh, prisoners. They can't really get a good charge off with their other cavalry, can they? Right, and that's their general's unit, isn't it? Definitely got a good hit on them there. Going to flaming shot. Might uh, lower their morale a little. Come on, keep pushing in. Our general moving up over there. Right, so you're definitely having trouble getting up onto the walls there. Go on, get onto the wall, like I told you. We're definitely taking some friendly fire. By St. George, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yep. Fire back there. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Come on, keep pushing. Right. You want to send that unit against my general? That's where we want to be firing. Oh, come on, get up on the walls. It's your problem. Right, just shoot them wherever you're standing. Those units were doing running down there. Wherever you're at, you're taking a lot of casualties. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Are you shooting? That unit is taking a lot of casualties, whereas the mid tier units are not taking any. I don't want to lose too many of those because they're not easy to replenish. Neither is that unit. You've done well because you haven't taken many casualties. 
Uh, General's doing well. He's knocked down that Nomad Sword unit from, I think, 177 down to 52. He's only taken three casualties. Alright, let's try to get you to push forwards. They do have the habit of not wanting to move forwards. Right. It's time to press the attack. Oh, Ballista's doing a fine job. Come on, General. Look at those mo units moving forwards. Right, we should claim this uh, settlement then. Which might draw away their forces from Wayrest. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, he did a good job up to that point. We still got 53 men left. Just see if we can push through, get into the town center. That's what we need to do. Units like that haven't taken any casualties. Right, those ballista have a whole load of ammunition, don't they? A lot more than the catapults. Still got a lot of ammunition. And also, fairly accurate. What I can see. Right, just target that unit if you're within range. Or if not, up where you're at. Uh, those are spearmen. They are taking fire. We await your command. All right, let's stop you from firing and take up most of this episode. Hold where you're at. Get in there. Should be able to cap the settlement soon. By St. George, our men have taken control of the city. 
They have indeed. Shrike. We've killed a Shrike. And kept on their tour. Come on, finish them off. It says there's two units in town center. I can only see one. There's the other one. Ah, there. Come over here and kill him. The enemy army flees the field. End the battle. Clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Right, we lost a quarter of our forces, but we claimed, I think, a large town. We're going to kill him. The day is ours, sire. This is English soil. It is. Huh? Good amount. Oh, what's this? Victory? How come? No, seriously? You have won this game, all your people celebrate this victory. Would you like to continue? I didn't think we had enough settlements. Uh, let's click this to see what's going on. Alright, I know we selected a short campaign because this is the first campaign in this mod. Now, I didn't know how well it was going to turn out. Uh, completed. We have 20 regions. Okay. Uh, including Daggerfall. Our capital. Well, I was not expecting that. Right, well, um, well, we could play on, couldn't we? Although there's not really any point. Uh, you know what? By the time we come back around after playing every other faction, we'll probably be on version 3 of this mod. This is version 2, which is fairly new. So we may get to play as Daggerfall again, but it'll be in a later version, I think. Uh, I can't remember how many factions are in this mod, but there is two campaigns, a third era and a fourth era. So it could be interesting to do that. And there's also a, I think in the fourth era, there's a civil war up here in Skyrim. And in the third era, you have the choice of having an Oblivion script activated or not. And I think I turned that off simply because I didn't know what it was. So we actually have victory. Um, I may play on on my own time. So we do this here, that. Uh, can we actually get any units there? Some. Ooh, Kulari Landsnex. That's the vampire. Uh, they've got axes and they've got swords. Alright, it does take 50 turns before I can get them. Hmm, is there corruption? 250? Yeah, but I'm going to build this up as a military base. Boost the tax. I know it's dropping that down. Uh... Going to get an assassin. Right. Nations have worsened. So, we do in fact have that. And that's the end of the campaign. So, uh, we actually went out on a fairly good battle, capturing this settlement. So, yeah, I now have to choose who the next campaign is going to be. And that'll be three days after you watch this one. Or three days after this one is uh, released on YouTube. And I was going to go down here and probably play this faction, which are the Argonians, also known as the clans of the Black Marsh, because this is rather a swampy area all the way down here in this area of the map. Uh, basically all of this. They do get into wars against the uh, faction called Dress, which is up here, 
and they do get into a war with the Empire which is up here and well actually over here as well and up here but they have a large area that they can occupy and really they only have two main enemies that they'll have to fight on land uh, so yeah that's probably going to be the next campaign and I shall select a long campaign for them I don't know how many regions you need for a long campaign but this has only lasted what 19 I think episodes I think it's something like 19 for a short campaign so maybe a long campaign if we play it well enough might be around about 50 episodes so we'll see how well that one's received uh, if not many people watch the long campaign we may just uh, for our third campaign make up our own house rules see how that goes so until next time here on YouTube where you'll have a brand new campaign to watch thank you for watching this one and take care